Ho, ho, ho. Are they still drunk? Are they hungover? Sophie and Daniel, definitely not sober. You're listening to the Hangover You Don't Deserve podcast. Hi, guys. Welcome to episode 15 of a Hangover You Don't Deserve. What? <laughs> Why did I just do that? Welcome to episode 15 of a Hangover You Don't Deserve podcast. Uh, we are... Well, at least I am dreadfully hungover. I don't know about you, Sophie. This is Sophie. Say hi, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Are you hungover? I, I'm not sure. No, I, I probably just. <laughs> okay, thank you. That was weird. I feel terrible, like real bad. Um, oh no. So anyway, welcome. This is the beginning of our Christmas episodes. <laughs> I, in my mind, there was some kind of <laughs> jingle bells happening there, then I just said, doo, 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 for some reason. We had a Christmas podcast night out last night, kind of, I guess, I suppose. It was very Christmassy. It wasn't even December. Yeah, it was. Uh, well, oh, yeah, it's both by the time we actually went out, it was. Yeah, see? Yeah. So what happened last night is... As soon as it got to December, we made it our mission to go on a Christmas night. Up. That's some true shit. Uh, what happened last night was Sophie finished work at one forty-five in the morning. It was probably like 2. It was closer to 2. And then we went out. <laughs> and so um, <clears throat> I had already been drinking since 8.30pm. Uh, so I'm very hungover, and you're just like... Oh, uh, is that why you fell asleep and I was like, why is he asleep? Oh, you mean at, at five o'clock in the morning? Yes. Yes, that is why I fell asleep. Also, it was five in the morning. Outrageous. Uh, so we went to... I went... And we. It's funny, because we reversed it from last time. Oh, I, yeah? I went to the Swan and you never showed up, and I had to bring your drink out with me. Yeah. Yeah. So but that's because you didn't finish work. So it's not the same as us just being in Burger King for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't fun. Although I don't think waiting in Burger King is fun either. Yeah. No, um, yeah, I was in work and I thought I would get out some time to make last orders, but I did not. You did not. I did not. So we went to Beer Engine because it was the only place that's open that's not a club. Beer Engine is our saviour. It's it's open till, what, 6am? And they yeah. they so, serve food till 3, is that right? Yes. Ah, so insane. good. So good. It's what we want. It's what we need, guys. And uh, the music isn't, like... Terrible. It's not terrible and it's not too loud. Yeah, we found an area where the music was quiet enough that we could talk easily. It was great. Yeah, yeah basically, we went downstairs and nobody was there, so we just stayed there. It was... It was Spot on. Perfect. We could have just went home and not paid that price for beer. Also true. But we were watching some kind of boxing match on TV. <laughs> yeah, we will come to the boxing. Firstly, I would like to say that this podcast is supported entirely by our Patreon supporters. Uh, we don't make any money from sponsorship or ads or any other bullshit. Um, we don't sell you Blue Apron or a mattress. We're just going to fucking leave it open to you guys. If you want to support us, you can. Uh, so we would like to thank Adria Bowman and Emma Rose Francis. Thank you, guys. You're fueling the fire. <laughs> Is that weird? Isn't that a negative thing? Is it? Oh, probably. I don't know. Yeah. Well, that's true. You are causing this. <laughs> this, yeah. this is the end product of what you have caused. I hope you're happy. But we appreciate it. Nobody else does. I guess by Christmas, probably, I think maybe earlier, we'll have hit a thousand plays, which is Jeez. insane. Like we. That is, if people listen to this episode, if they don't, then... Yeah, maybe we'll never reach any more than <laughs> we are at currently. Um, no, but we... we... We appreciate everything that's going on, and, and I mean, not everything that's going on. Some things are bad, you know. Terrorism, drought, starvation. We don't appreciate everything that's going on, but Jesus. most things are fine. So, uh, yeah, if you would like to uh, support us on Patreon, you can at patreon.com slash ahyddpod. Uh, for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month? I don't even know what that means. Uh, it's like 80p or something. 80p, guys. Ish. Ish. We have we have no insight. I was gonna what say what am I a bureau de change? <laughs> I was gonna say don't quote me on that, but then I was like, well, I'm literally being quoted. And if you would like to follow us without, are we still on this? Shut up! If you would like to follow us without uh, giving us money, follow us on social media. It's at a h y d d pod uh, on all social media platforms. Um, even just liking our posts is great. 
So we, uh, we what did we drink? Uh, last night I drank. <laughs> okay, exactly one Australia, one Trooper, one Guinness, <laughs> one Jacob, <laughs> one Newcastle Brown. What the? Fuck? Why, why do I remember this? What the? Fuck? <laughs> why did you not stick to a drink? Oh, I didn't stick to a drink because every single drink available was from a different place, so they didn't have the same selection, and I just had to fucking deal with it. So did we only have one drink in each place we went to? <laughs> How did you have so no, many drinks? <laughs> no, I had two Guinness in oh, okay. the beer engine. Okay, so you and just, a, and a so you just lie. You just lie. You just lie to the audience. Lie to the fans. Fans. <laughs> Lie to the fans. Straight to the fans. All listeners. All the fans. Our only, I was just going to say our only fans. I drank Punk IPA for several hours before you before you became a part of this. <laughs> and then... Um, well, while I was slaving away over a hot stove, literally. Literally. <laughs> I moved on to Shipyard in the Swan, because mm. the Swan doesn't sell anything I like to drink, I hear. Then I had an Australia, which I've always called Estrella until you said Estrella. And, uh, and I was like... Oh, yeah, that makes total sense. Yeah, well, it's Spanish, and exactly. I went on a date with a Spanish guy, um, and he was like, what would you order? And I was like, oh, I guess I would get an Estrella. Estrella. And he was, like, laughing. Like, actually, it's more like, Estrella. <laughs> oh, we've just discovered our Polaroid from last night, and it's fucking terrible. Oh, God. Polaroid that... Enjoy Who's that receiving I- this? Enjoy it- that, Adria. Yeah, our, our very esteemed patron, Adia, is Adia. Adia. ADHD. <laughs> Adria is going to enjoy this Polaroids very much. Um, if you would like to receive a Polaroid capture moment from the night out that we go on, then you can find that on Patreon. After the Estrella, <laughs> I moved on to Shedhead. Yeah, you did not like that. It was terrible and I didn't drink it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I wouldn't have even noticed, but... I'd finished an entire Guinness and you'd had like two sips of that. And it yeah, felt really it, bad. It, no, I mean, it, you, you didn't brew it. <laughs> it's not, it's <laughs> not your fault. <laughs> but it was just bad. Uh, then I had a uh, mango shindigger, which I'm a fan of. Big fan. Big fan. Big fan. Yeah, wait, does it taste like mango? I should have tasted that. Yeah. I kind of thought you were joking. No, I love it. Yeah, and I was just on the Guinness like a happy child. What does that mean? I don't know. Children I just, don't drink Guinness. I, I don't hope. need to say it. Don't drink Guinness, kids. You know, it's good for you, though. Is it? Guinness is good for you. That's the big... Are they still allowed to say that, actually? Probably Maybe that's not. like an old ad that... Yeah. Is it iron content? Is that why it's good for you? Yeah. Yeah. But isn't that what makes you constipated? Does it make you constipated? That not iron. in my experience. <laughs> just, just letting you old guys know about the movements of my bowels. So, go on. So, in terms of how we got home... Ah, uh, yes, it was horrible. We walked, and it was very fucking cold, because it, it's, it's freezing right December. now. December. It was miserable, and we planned to stop in the shop. The shop was closed. Oh, that was upsetting. I was dreadfully upset. And then, in terms of how we got to bed, we sat on the couch, you got me a drink, I fell asleep immediately, sat up on the couch. Yeah, and I sat here <laughs> watching YouTube videos of... The Lancashire hot pots for about two hours. Yeah, and then when you went to bed, it was like eight thirty in the morning, and you woke me up because you stood up. And then... no, I'm sorry about that. No, 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 no. I'm, I wasn't saying like how rude. What was funny is that I checked my phone and I thought, why is she bothering going to bed? We've got to start soon. Ah, uh, it was because I was just going to sleep. Yes, which is why it was so difficult to wake you up. But... What an hour and a half later? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was. Trying... How rude of me. Well, exactly. Inconsiderate. I didn't realise it was like eight when I went to bed, though. Yeah. I think I thought it was like six. Right, we probably only got home at six. No, we didn't, because I remember something, something in the night. You said, oh, I said, it's only five o'clock. And you said, actually, it's six. I mean, we probably got home like five minutes before that. Yeah, I think Oh, so. well, we said that we walked home as well. This pub is like five minutes from my house, so it wasn't really a It felt a like an hour. It was it... so cold. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, it was horrible. So, we did a Christmas shot in the dark. <laughs> there was nothing Christmassy about it. It was awful. It was dreadful. We Yeah, it wasn't nice, though. It was absolute pepper. 
Oh, I thought you were going to say like it was absolutely unbearable. No, no it was literally absolute pepper flavor. Yeah, and it did. It smelled like like a bell pepper. A capsicum. Oh, I love that word. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome, guys. Yeah. It... <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh yeah, it was not, it was not nice. I mean, I'm not a vodka drinker anyway. So. No, me neither. Yeah, it wasn't fun. What happened is, I said to uh, the bartender, "What?" <laughs> now we ask him also a couple of things, but yeah, we, we were asking him because we we like we like it to be something weird. Yeah, we we put a lot of effort and thought into this, guys. Yeah, but ultimately, we we didn't want anything that we asked about. So <laughs> I asked the guy, "What's the thing that you sell least of?" <laughs> Yeah, and he thought for like one second and then said... Yeah, he immediately knew. Like, pepper bucket. <laughs> yeah. And I thought it was going to be like black pepper, like like pepper flavour. I, I don't know how I knew that it was not that. I was just like, all right, vodka, that tastes like vegetables. No, I... The only reason I immediately agreed and was excited is because I thought it was black pepper. Ah, uh, that would have like, been better. Yeah, I was like, oh, a spicy vodka, I'll do that. I've had like chilli vodka before and that's harsh, really. Yeah, well, all vodka is just terrible. I hate vodka. Mm. Vodka. But we did it for you guys. Did you just say vodka? Vodka. I don't think that's how it works. They don't swap them both ways. I can do whatever I want, actually. Uh, okay. <laughs> actually. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big time reply guy. Correction. I can do what I want. Jesus. Let's move on. Moving swiftly on. All right, Sean Connery. I was trying to be uh, Alan Partridge. Ah, that was probably good. Sid would have liked that if he was here. <laughs> I'll leave it in just for him then. I was going to cry out, but I'll leave it in. <laughs> You're welcome, Sid. Sydney. Sydney. That's what I call Sid when I'm at home. I call him Sydney. <laughs> for, some, for some reason. Yeah, but loud. <laughs> it's that but loud. I didn't want to ruin the podcast by saying it loud. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome, guys. Enjoy that. <laughs> segment where I said Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> the Sydney feature. We should, oh, that's what I was going to say, actually. We should do things, segments. We're like, we're like, in this segment, we're going to talk about, instead of just going, anyway, and just launching <laughs> into a new subject. It's the best segue. Segue! Ah, segue. So. Segue. Yesterday, when I messaged you to remind you of things we needed to make sure we did on the podcast night out, one of them was to do a shot mm. in the dark. <laughs> Okay, we did that. Well, my phone autocorrects because I. Oh, was, this is funny. I was sick of. This is funny, guys. I was sick of the word shot showing up. So, one of the things I reminded Sophie that we needed to do was do a shit in the dark. And for some reason, I didn't even realise that was an autocorrect. But I think it was because yesterday the light in my bathroom <laughs> went. And I was like, well, I'm way ahead of you. <laughs> How would I have known that? I don't know. So, when we were in Beer Engine last night. They have um, big screens, which they play. I am assuming they play like football matches and stuff when there's football on, but every time I go in there, it's just like, usually it's like American football or like weird American sports. That's because that. it's four in the morning when you go in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> but they were also playing this boxing match, and I don't know, we found it really entertaining for some reason, didn't we? Well, I'd, I've never understood boxing, never understood the concept of punch me in the face, it's a sport. Yeah. Right, I don't get it. But what it occurred to me, because they wear those fucking big gloves, boxing is basically a pillow fight. Yes! It looks really soft. I know it's not, but it looks it. So it's just fun to watch. Yeah, it feels like it would be like, ah, thanks for caressing my face with that cushion. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. We all put some fucked up pictures of that in the Patreon. <laughs> Are they? Oh my god, remember? Do you not remember? Remember the fuzzy hair guy? With the I oh no, there was a guy who was really old who was like commentating on it, and he had these bushy eyebrows. Oh yeah, he was great. Eyebrow. I love old people with bushy eyebrows. I can't wait for Sid to have them <laughs> 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 when I'm married to someone and they have bushy eyebrows. I'm gonna be so happy because like they don't have them all their life. I'm assuming. Oh god, they look like cotton wool balls were like glued to his face. Yeah, it's like they're a separate entity from the face. So this is, I guess. First of all, Christmas episodes, where we would like to talk about Christmas traditions. Oh, I love this. So let's begin with Christmas drunk traditions, because that fits the bill most. Okay. Um, I, I'll go first, because I don't care about you. Okay. Um, I have, every year for eight years or something, gone out on Christmas Eve. No one, no one I know ever does that, which is upsetting, because I always want to do that. 
Wow. I wish we lived closer to be able to do that. Yeah. There's a the a bar we've talked about before, the Witchwood, near me, that I have previously gone to. What are you going to go to now, that you don't like it anymore? Oh, I think I'm just not going to go out this year. That's very sad. Yeah, it is. It's the end of a long-standing tradition. Yeah. But traditionally, <laughs> we would go to the Witchwood. That closes at 3 a.m. on Christmas morning. Wow. And then we'd get... I would hate to work there. Oh, yeah, it sounds terrible to me. But, you know, I'd rather inflict myself on them than work there. <laughs> and then we get a cab home, and then, I mean, my sister's 12 now, but obviously over the course of the last few years, she's been a young kid on Christmas Day and come and woke me up at, you know... Six or something. Yeah, yeah, before the sun has risen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, no. <laughs> but it's always worked out well because I'm still drunk, so then I come down and just be horribly obnoxious. And she probably loved that. Oh, yeah, she for sure loved it. There was one year, it was the year that Frozen came out. Oh. And all her gifts were Frozen-related. Right, of course. And every single thing she oh, opened. Oh, this is funny. I said, Geez, are you going to do that all day? Yes. Okay, cool. Every single thing that she opened, I said, oh, do you want me to defrost it for you? Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It wasn't <laughs> funny, and she was so. She was like, Daniel! <laughs> <laughs> You're sick of it. <laughs> She's going to be on her podcast in 10 years going, Remember my brother used to do this really annoying Because <laughs> in 10 years, everyone will have a podcast. Everyone you, already has a podcast. You think what? it's bad now? Look at us, we have a podcast. Just wait. <laughs> this mess is a podcast. This mess. Okay, what my Christmas. Eve is usually like, I think we just watch those kind of Christmas Eve movies and all get drunk. And I say it all, I mean... It's a Christmas Eve movie because my immediate jump was Lethal Weapon, and that's not a Christmas movie. Oh, man. But that's just what I felt like. But that is probably something that we would watch because because we love Lethal lethal Weapon. Because I'm going to put this out there, and everyone in England at least is going to agree. Christmas Eve is the same as a bank holiday. Yes, it is. In terms of what movie you would watch. Oh, yeah, totally. Um. Yeah, yeah, like Indiana Jones. Yes! That kind of thing. Yeah, that is such a good one. But Anything that they would play on ITV2, that's what you yeah. would watch. But that's not Christmassy enough. I don't know what we would watch, but maybe like Harry Potter. But that would just what be the... that would just be me like, hey, let's watch this. And everyone would be like, oh. Yeah, I would also be, oh. <laughs> oh, because you hate that, right? I do hate that. But also, what's that got to do with Christmas? You just said... Because there's Christmas on it at one point. At one point, it... Bit, in one of the films. It's set over a year, and so there's, right. a, 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 there's a minute where it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 30 seconds where that's, they acknowledge Christmas. That's like saying, right, guys, let's watch all all the seasons of Frasier because there's Christmas episodes in it. I agree. <laughs> let's let's do that. Let's um, do that right now. Forget the podcast. <laughs> no, um, because I, I think it used to come out in November, so like the new movie will be like fresh at Christmas. So I guess that's why I don't know. And also, that's one of the things that's always playing on telly at Christmas. I've never cared less about the things you're saying. Oh, I, Daniel hates Harry Potter. And I hate it so much. You guys should bollock him for it. Bollock him. You know, you know, we'd love that, Adrian. Love what? <laughs> The phrase bollock. Bollock. Like, it means to, like, tell someone off. Bollock like, me. if. It <laughs> sounds so horrible when you say it. Exactly. It's like, oh, I got bollocks in work the other day for doing something yeah, wrong. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to bollock him when I see him. Oh, but... that sounds horrible now <laughs> after you just said that. But, but then the thing is that bollocks also means testicles. So Obviously. Like... So, well, and not to Americans, they don't say that. Okay, so, well, they know what the word means. Well, maybe. Some of them don't. Okay. Just shut the fuck up! So, <laughs> so bollocks means testicles, and also it means to tell someone off. Why are we talking about this? So, so <laughs> I don't know. And also, the dog's bollocks means great. Yeah. For some reason, who invented that phrase? Is something the one really fucked up. If something is bollocks, it's bad. But if it's the dog's bollocks, it's good. In England, we love dog's bollocks. <laughs> Apparently. Um, didn't it come from uh, Box Deluxe? I don't know what that is. It's what they wrote on... Wait, that sounds like dog's bollocks? Yeah, that, I think that's the point. Hilarious. Anyway. Even though I don't know what that is. Anyway. I think they put it on Jigsaw or something. I don't remember. Some Someone's going to Google it who's not us, and they're going to find out. Okay, tell us in the comments what that means. <laughs> you know what? I've got a jigsaw app on my phone. 
like you know the way you get games on your phone and um, it's like you know Candy Crush or whatever's cool at the moment. <laughs> yeah. I just have like solitaire crosswords or a jigsaw puzzle. I love the fucking crosswords app. Yes. As a, yes. I love it a lot because um, every time I see something that's like relevant to someone, I have to send them a screenshot of it, and I'm like, hey. Look what I just did on my crossword. <laughs> <laughs> and no one gives a shit. Yeah, no one cares, but I'm like overjoyed by it. Like so... umami flavours. <laughs> <laughs> so I work in like a food place and my dad loves it. He loves food anyway, but our food place is particularly did good. Did you just call your dad fat? It's so offensive. He calls me fat all the time, so it's okay. Well, yeah, but you're fat, so... <gasps> oh, <laughs> shit. I feel bad for Hey, ladies. <laughs> Let's go on a crusade against ladies. Daniel Cotton. <laughs> Daniel Cotton's cancelled for calling me fat. Anyway. <laughs> Didn't you cancel me the last episode as well? I feel like you did. No, <laughs> that, that was Jarrett Reddick. I know you two are one in the same, but... I was adamant I wasn't going to ring up Jarrett Reddick being cancelled on this episode. <laughs> but you just... You just... Made it happen. <laughs> I actually, I, I forgot. It seems like I cancelled them a lot of times, but it was actually over one day that we recorded a lot of episodes. It wasn't. Wasn't that? No. No, it definitely wasn't. You anyway, just... he's not cancelled. I forgive him. I'm sorry, Jared. I love you so much. You Thanks just... for doing our theme tune. <laughs> he just texted me and said, you're not funny. No, he didn't. <laughs> not... <laughs> Listen, you've made me forget what we were talking about now. Being cancelled. No, before that. Dog spoilers. No, oh. Oh my god, I was talking about apps. Oh, it was because, yes. So, my dad loves the word umami or umami. How do you even say it, really? I'm going to go for umami, not umami. Umami. And um, it's like, it's basically like, you know, the way you have sweet flavours, sour flavours. Umami is like a savoury, I think. I don't even know how no, to describe it. It's no. savoury, it is savoury. No, I thought it was like... The whole point was that it, it was the thing that fell differently than all those. Because anything that's not sweet is savoury. No, it could be sour. Sour things can be savoury, can't they? No. Oh. I don't I'm know. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, all I wanted to say was he loves this word and he talk he says it more than anyone should. See he'll send me a picture of breakfast and be like, Yes, look at all these umami flavours and I'm like, Okay, Dad <laughs> Good <laughs> And um so every time he comes in my work he's like, Oh yes, it's delicious. Lots of umami flavours and um me and my bosses are just like, What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> but also we love it. So one time it was a it was a clue in my crosswords and I was very excited about it. That was that, that's it, the end of my story. <laughs> It was a great story. This has nothing to do with Christmas. Well, that's because you keep talking about fucking Umami and crosswords and the dog's bollocks. Okay. Bollocking should... me for not liking Harry Potter. Ah, that's where this all started. So shall I talk about my Christmas Eve? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we'll watch, like, you know, some kind of shit film and get drunk. Uh, my dad won't get drunk because he doesn't drink. And now one of my brothers doesn't drink either, so... I guess they'll just hate their lives. So well. you're also coming to the end of a tradition? Yeah, yes, definitely. <sighs> because, you know, the other thing that I think is a tradition, but no one else in my family seems to. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what this is, because it's going to be annoying. <laughs> no, it's not. On Christmas morning, we open a bottle of champagne and have champagne for breakfast. Yet yeah, now, it's only really me and my mum that would want that. And <laughs> usually she's just like, really, it's a bit early, isn't it? And I'm like, well, no, it's tradition! But it's not. It's just that before Mark started drinking, he was trying to encourage everyone to drink in the morning, I guess. And champagne's the easiest way to do that. Oh, for sure, yeah. Ch- champagne is like a salad. It's just like, it's it's nothing. It's meaningless. Just yeah. have it. Yeah, you can have it anytime. And it. No it one judges. Have, yeah, it will have no effect on you. Oh, no, it does. No, but I mean, that's uh, the way that they pitch it. Yes, you. they pitch they, they The champagne elite. Big champers. Big champers? What you know, like that? Big Farmer. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. Leave that in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? Because do we ever leave in? Cut that out. I've left cut that out in once, I think. Your belly's out. No, no, it's always out. I can't oh, that's okay. do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I feel like you've... Blown this thing wide open by bringing up fucking Harry Potter, but oh. 
I, I, I don't want to hear about how you don't like Harry Potter. It's boring. No, I'm moving on. Oh, That's that. Okay. Jesus, shut the fuck I don't want to hear about how you don't want to hear about how I like Harry Potter. <laughs> it's boring. Um, I thought it might be contrived to uh, discuss his Die Hard a Christmas movie, but that's what the people want to hear. And when I say the people, I mean Jared Spear. Yes. It's your fault, Jared Spear. Fuck you, Jared Spear. <laughs> so, hey, he's a big time fan of ours. Big time. <laughs> so, what's your stance? Oh, mine? I thought you were asking the guys. <laughs> um, they can't answer! <laughs> I know, I was like, waiting. I was like, <laughs> also, do you remember on the last episode that I was Googling something and you asked people to comment yes. first? That was hilarious. Right, was it? A, I hope it was a joke, because you're, if not, you're a moron. No, it was a joke. Okay, good. So, what <laughs> what is your stance on Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? I think you can watch Die Hard any time of year, but it's <gasps> most definitely a Christmas film. Okay, thank Because it's very Christmassy the whole way through. Right. Here's, here's where I come in. Okay. You go now. <laughs> With <laughs> your big opinion. <laughs> Stop saying big. <laughs> Too much. Too much big. <laughs> Too big. <laughs> God. If it wasn't Christmas, yes, they wouldn't be having a Christmas party in the office. Yeah, he would have no reason to go there, mm-hmm. and every other company in that office would still be there, and they wouldn't be able to conduct their terrorism heist. And Al wouldn't be on his way home for Christmas when he, you know, stopped by to check it out. And because you know what he was doing. He was Taking driving them. home for Christmas. Yes. Oh, I love that. Leave that in. Thank oh, you. great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, and they wouldn't have time to do. They wouldn't have time. <laughs> they wouldn't have like the need to do the greatest joke ever when he sends the guy, dead guy down in the right? elevator, and his shit says, "Ho ho ho!" Now I have a machine gun. No, it's now I have a machine gun. Ho ho ho. Just to clarify, actually, it's. Now I have a machine gun. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> Fucking Alan Rickman is an absolute the best. Oh, I, I would, I would have married him if, if the opportunity arose. But <laughs> and he didn't die. Well, that's what I meant by opportunity. Spoiler alert: Alan Rickman is dead. God. Alan Rickman was dead at the end of Sixth Sense. Ah. Oh. And also every other film because he is dead. Hate you. You're just saying this because he was in Harry Potter. I, I fucking love all of them. You know who the unsung hero of Die Hard is? Other than Al, obviously. Who? Argyle. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. He's a he's a cool guy. Thanks for thanks for bringing the car around, pal. I, I wonder what he's doing now. The actor, I mean, not okay. <laughs> oh, I wonder if he was in anything else. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> Imagine if he had a spin off. Oh, I would love that. And it was just him driving limos. Driving a limo talking to people. No, I bet your limo drivers have some great stories. Oh, for sure. I mean, maybe more than just regular cab drivers. Probably more because, you know, all the big fights happen on big days. <laughs> oh, which actually is a nice segue to. What? Wait, sorry. All the big fights happen on big days. What is that? No, oh, I just said that. Like, you know, like, if if you get married, then you're probably going to have a big fight. Oh, okay. You know, because, you know, all fucking, what's it, like, tensions running high. Yeah, no, I drinking. Just, the way you said it, I thought it was like a phrase that I'd not heard of, like, the big fights happen on big days. Oh, no, no. That yeah. was just me. I love it. I, I hope it will become a phrase in the future. <laughs> I've already forgotten what I said. <laughs> No, but I mean, what I was going to say is, is it really Christmas if your family doesn't have a great big fight? True. True. Yeah. Do you think that's the same in America, or do you think... No, it... yeah, it definitely is. <sighs> well, they're so wholesome with their families, and we treat each other like shit. Oh, no, I think the difference is we treat each other like shit year-round. Right. And they probably save it for, like, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Right. Guys, come on! You guys, you just have Thanksgiving. Um, I hope it was good. I'm not entirely sure what Thanksgiving is. Then. I mean, I get the basis of it, it's but some... I think I could just never understand until I've like you know witnessed it, if it been person. It's something about the the guys who left from Plymouth Rock. And then... Yeah, so 
so, sail to America, which sounds fake to me because, <laughs> like, it would take you so long to do that now in 2019. Oh, yeah, but that's just what they did then. Seems fake. Anyway. <laughs> they did Don't that. Believe it, guys, so, your country doesn't exist. So. <laughs> It does, just to indigenous Americans. Yikes. Everyone else is fake. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, but all it is is they're thankful that, what, some English guys went over and were a dick to the no, natives. No, isn't it something about that the, they, like, broke bread with the indigenous Americans? Oh, yeah, I'm thankful that before we killed them all, we had a little meal together. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, folks. <laughs> Clear this up for me if I'm wrong. Yeah, post in the comments where we probably did not go wrong. Yeah. So. So, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Uh, <laughs> it's already over. I, you know what, feel uncomfortable about having two big holidays that close together. Yeah, I, I fully agree. It, there's like anxiety. Especially because the meal is so similar. Yeah. Why are you going to have two turkey days? Yeah, that's fucked up. Although, no one really likes turkey, do they? I no, don't think. It's so, dry. Yeah, it's just like a shit version of chicken. Right, a big shit version. If chickens were bigger, we'd have chicken on Christmas Day. Guarantee it. Yeah. Guarantee it. So, uh, yeah. Thanksgiving. Cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh, wait, it's already been can- Thanksgiving 2020 cancelled. <laughs> you, know, you know how the president pardons that turkey? What's the deal with that? I don't get it. Pardoned, pardoned is the opposite of cancelled. Pardon no, culture. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the president pardons the turkey on Thanksgiving. What? <laughs> That's... What does that even mean? You know Why what? he says, like, I forgive you for your sins, turkey? Kind of, yeah. Well, no, no. It's not like confession. He's not. He's not a preacher. It's like, it's like you know, like a presidential pardon where they can say like, "You committed a crime," but I'm yeah. What did the turkey do? No, it's a tradition. That's fucked up. I don't know what the turkey did. Oh god, I hate Thanksgiving even more now. I, I didn't even hate it before, but now I do. Well, anyway, I'm gonna make this joke, and you're not gonna get it, but the guys will. The guys. Pardon? Hey, guys, listen to this. Pardon culture is the opposite of cancel culture. Ah, oh, that sounds hilarious. Pardon culture is what undoes you being cancelled. Ah, oh, nice. No, but not if if you if I were pardoned by Trump, I'd be honestly mad about it. <laughs> I'd rather be cancelled. I don't want to get political, guys, but fuck that guy. Remember, remember last time when I said this, we're a political satire podcast now? Well, I didn't lie. So I know that wasn't satire. No, I know it was true. <laughs> true facts. True fax machine. Um, <laughs> don't okay. hit you laugh, Mike. No, I enjoyed that. Oh. Anyway, go on. I but you know what? That, that happens to me a lot. I laugh at things and people think, like, I'm joking. But I guess that's just my laugh. If you laugh like this. Ha! Yeah, or I'm like, ha, ah, that's... I always do that thing when I say that's funny. I don't know. I don't know. People, I guess that sounds sarcastic. So I guess this has been episode 15, guys. Uh, what? We didn't talk about anything? Congratulations, we did it. Oh, wow. Um, Stay tuned for more Christmas talks. Yeah, next next week we're going to talk about other people's Christmas traditions and... Um, more Christmas s- stuff. Some other shit that's Christmassy. Christmas shit. Yeah, every, but... every time you say Christmas, I just keep thinking we should put jingle bells over this. Over all of it. Yeah, <laughs> over the whole podcast. podcast yeah. You, ever, um, you ever take a shit like after your Christmas dinner and you're just like, wow. That's all Christmas dinner. What a waste. No, so I don't think that, but that's great. It's like so much of that must be Christmas dinner. Do you guys do that on Thanksgiving? <laughs> the Thanksgiving shit. The thing about that Thanksgiving shit. The thing about the Thanksgiving shit is definitely what we're going to call this one. Great. I love it. That was my one joke. <laughs> I'm done now. <laughs> it's a Christmas <laughs> Because you have to take the Thanksgiving shit before Christmas, otherwise you wouldn't be able to have Christmas dinner. Yeah. Of course, otherwise you'd be severely medically constipated. Well, yeah, but I mean, the thing about the, the Thanksgiving shit is that, like, it can constipate you because you ate so much. True, so, probably. So, you know, you've got to get it out before Christmas, guys. Get it out of there. I hope you guys have all done it. <laughs> is this the end? This is the worst podcast ever. <laughs> <laughs> Why does anyone listen to this? Uh, well, well anyway. thanks for listening, guys. Yeah. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, and review. Uh, follow us on all social media at ahyddpod. 
And uh, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash pod. Fuck you, Jared Spear. <laughs> goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Ho, ho, ho. Are they still drunk? Are they hungover? Sophie and Daniel, definitely not sober. Thank you for listening to the Hangover You Don't Deserve podcast.